Creamfield Festival, at least 60,000 tents were abandoned at the site, along with other camping gear, worth an estimated 1 million. Okay, I see a great opportunity here for somebody who wants to help out the community and also make a ton of money. So, the entrepreneurs out there, I call you to visit Creamfield, gather all those tents, and list them for resale for free because you're doing good work. You're cleaning up the place, keeping the tents, reselling them. Why not? You deserve it. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash awful everything. Let's get into it. Congratulations, you've managed to create the one thing worse than a duck face. No, bro, it, it's fine. If you don't have lips, just don't have lips or get lip filler. But don't, please, don't turn your tongue into a lip. <laughs> Could you imagine you have to actually do that all day? Walk around just, mm, mm, and then you talk and be like, wait, what? Yeah, there's no way. No more unknown stuff in my food. I'm growing my own vegetables and cooking them in my home. Finally taking charge of my health. Dude, dude, if you clean your toilet, even just once a month, shoot, maybe even once every three months, you would never have this problem. But instead, you leave it, you have terrible aim, and then you cook it? I mean, it's bad enough that it's growing, right? That, that means you neglected it for so long. But then you take it and you cook it. Please, I really hope you're just doing it for the memes and you didn't actually eat that. My attempt at making a sandwich. It went not as planned. Ended up with just a tad bit too much pepper. But I think you can save it. Just pick it up, tip it over. You know what? It's not that bad. If anything, take a wet paper towel, damp it a few times, and then throw the burger in the trash. Cause yeah, there's no saving this thing. Clean the wife's cast iron pan today. You wouldn't believe how dirty this thing was. Um, well, I guess I would never know. And your wife will never be using that pan again. I think it's pretty common knowledge, considering I don't even own a cast iron pan, that you definitely do not clean them like that. Th th this guy looks like he took a wire brush to it. I'm pretty sure you're not even supposed to use soap on it. You just like reseason it and use water or something. I don't know, but you definitely don't scrub it down with the, the tough end of a sponge. This seahorse that, well, has a disposable mask attached to it. Like, hey, buddy, you do realize those things go over the chin. Come on, dude. You, you, you over the nose, over the mouth, over the chin. Not on your tail. Get it together, my guy. You're not protecting anybody or yourself with that. My teacher's task bar. Bro, there's no way your teacher uses that many applications that she needs to have them all in the task bar that's reserved for only high use applications. You see all that free real estate there on your home screen? Yeah, why don't you drag 85% of those right up on in that area and spare us all the terrible sight of this taskbar. Paralympian was stripped of his gold medal for being three minutes late. Running late cost this dude his gold medal at the Tokyo Paralympics, even though he won the event because he arrived late, bro. Uh, okay, if you're gonna say you can't compete because you are late, fine, don't let him compete. And then he can't win. That's okay, but no, no, no. You said, oh, we're gonna let him compete, but for literally no reason, because even if he does well, we're not gonna give him the medal. No, you let him compete. It doesn't matter if he showed up late or not. Give him the medal. He won, he's the best. You let him compete. If you didn't want him to compete, you should have told him, hey man, you're three minutes late. You don't get to compete. But doing this is just not fair. Fully carpeted bathroom with a garden tub. Need I say more? No, you need not. I think we all know that garden tubs are out of style, along with disgusting, wet, moldy carpet. I mean, come on, dude. Uh, 
Who in their right mind installs carpet in a bathroom? I mean, at least they put mats around the sink, that looks like, in the toilet. But, dude, getting out of the tub, the the bad aim at the toilet, anything. It's just going to reek. It's a mold, mildew fest with, oh, yeah, just disgusting. Guys, only do this if you're moving out and you absolutely despise the people that are moving in. Otherwise, steer clear of this. We're raising 2,500 bucks to give to a 10 year old boy who had his hearing aids ripped out and stomped on in the middle of class. Let's show him that there's more good in the world. Bro, kids are just, ugh, just savage. They have to know. I mean, at 10, you pretty much know what you're doing is not right. At least as far as my memory goes, at 10, I was like, oh yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing this. And something like that, I just feel, uh, how do you let that happen? I mean, it's tough, man. Bad parenting, bad kid, whatever, I don't know. But bad teachers, I mean, what's going on here? Come on, can we please, at the very least, help this kid get some money? Uh, I, I hope, I'm pretty sure this post is old, but I hope that he was able to at least, at the very minimum, replace his hearing aid. Kids suck sometimes. This is what a 1940s pediatric iron lung looks like. Um, I kind of feel like it's a magic trick, and part of me is expecting them to pull half of that away as baby's little feet wiggle around. Um, other than that, I don't know. This kind of looks slightly terrifying. Hopefully, you're not claustrophobic. And, well, I guess you'd be young enough where you wouldn't remember anyways. I'm glad technology is advancing. All right, modern chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash awful everything. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, peace.